Hey everybody, welcome to Lumia Tarot. My name is Claire Summer. A big warm welcome to you. If you are new here, welcome to the family. A uh, big shout out to all my subscribers. It's lovely to see you back here again. And um, yeah, a big shout out as well to everybody who has donated through the Energetic Exchange. I am sending you all a big hug. Okay, today's pick a card reading is Do They Feel the Connection? So this is for anybody who's in um, just a confusing situation where you don't quite know what's going on with your person. Um, you know, whether or not they've got feelings for you, whether or not they're interested, they're giving you mixed messages. Okay, so um, I'm just going to see if we have any messages from Spirit and see if we can pick up um, on any messages uh, that Spirit has for you regarding the person that you're thinking about regarding this reading today, okay? This is a timeless reading, so if you found this reading, please know that there may be a message here for you. And also, it's just a general reading, so remember, if it doesn't happen to resonate with you, it's all good. Just feel peaceful and go out and find the message that does resonate with you today. The answers are there for you, okay? So don't worry about that. Okay, so um, these are the three groups, group one, group two, and group three that we're picking for today. The timestamps are in the description box. Please use your intuition to guide you as to which of the three groups you uh, want to go with today. So just take a moment to take a deep breath and, you know, just relax, drop down into yourself and use that quiet voice that we all have within us. Uh, to choose one of the three groups for you uh, in this pick a card reading for you today. I will just let you know while you do that that I have uh, recently released my new ebook which is called Love Academy and it's all about manifesting your soulmate, being able to uh, raise your vibration to get into right alignment to call your soulmate into your life. So if you feel called to, then there's more information on my website. You can check that out. It is linked in the description box as well. Okay, but I'm so, so looking forward to doing this reading for you today and uh, yeah let's get on with it I'll see you in a moment hey everybody this is a reading for everybody who picked group number one so I'm going to take a look at the energies in these cards and see uh, what messages spirit has for you regarding this person and whether or not they can feel the connection with you okay so we have this card from the wild offering oracle deck which is despair we have the three of cups in the reverse we have page of pentacles we have Five of Pentacles, we have Four of Swords, we have the card Relationship from the Universal Love Oracle deck, we have Four of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and we have Eight of Swords in the upright, this is very interesting, and we have this beautiful card Universe, okay? Right, I'll say straight off, you know, what I'm seeing here is a very complex situation. There's a lot going on here. So I don't know whether this is a complex situation in the 3D or whether this is just a complex situation emotionally and energetically in your particular situation, okay? So I'm just seeing, you know, I'm drawn to this Three of Cups in the reverse. I just feel like, you know, perhaps you met through friends or like you did a lot of socializing with this person and now maybe they've pulled back from that a little bit. They've gone a little bit quiet. This is what I'm sensing. So maybe you met through friends or maybe it was just that you had a friendship with them. You know, you had this beautiful connection. You had this beautiful friendship. You really understand each other. You have this connection that you're feeling with this person. And now something about it, I'm hearing the words, has gone sour. Maybe you're not getting on so well. Maybe they've ghosted you. Maybe, they're, um, maybe they've pulled back quite considerably and you've been left in the cold a little bit. So this is what I'm sensing with this. You know, I'm sensing that you were having good times. You felt like it was going really, really well. You felt like it had potential and now they've pulled back from it. Okay, and I need to say they've pulled back quite far by the look of it um, in this situation. You know, we have this despair card and the five of pentacles here. You know, this does indicate, you know, so that someone in this uh, connection has isolated themselves. Someone is feeling very left out in the cold, you know, and that is indicated here by this Three of Cups in the reverse as well. You know, that somebody feels left out of a group, left out of a connection, you know, or shut out in some way. This is what I'm sensing, um, you know, and this has been very uh, painful for them in this situation. They're definitely feeling this quite painfully. It may be that somebody in this connection has um, purposely isolated themselves 
um, due to something that they're going through themselves or you know some sort of pain that they're experiencing I don't know whether there was some upset or some discord before this happened but this pulling back there's this isolation maybe both people in this connection are now feeling isolated left out shut out left out in the cold okay but there's definitely this energy of just like um not communicating with each other or just like the that the communication has really changed um and it doesn't have that um that joy, that nourishing feeling that it once had, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for uh, some of you who are in group one. Um, also, we've got to talk about this. You know, I can't make this up. You know, these are really contrasting energies here. You know, Spirit's got a really strong message for you here. When we see this, we have the Eight of Swords in the upright and then the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So I'm just sensing you... This connection, you know, that you have with this person, this is really on their mind and it's causing them to have a lot of ups and downs, a lot of, um, you know, so, you know, if they're coming for, towards you and pulling away or if they're, you know, being very hot and cold, if the whole connection feels very up and down, they've got this like very intense emotional journey that's going on within them or this like uh, mental journey that's going on within them that they're experiencing at this time, whereby, um, you know, they're feeling a lot of confusion about this connection. They're feeling a lot of fear. I'm sensing that for some of them, they've been triggered into this fear pattern as well, which is, um, you know, the Eight of Swords is really, really about, you know, there's a strong theme here that I'm picking up about old patterns. You know, it could be their old relationship patterns. It could be something triggered from childhood. But it definitely, there's a flip-flop where they're going in and out of that. You know, some days they feel okay, and some days they're really in that. You know, this could be as deep as a bipolar disorder. It could be that your person suffers from uh, maybe depression or anxiety, or they're going through periods of that. It may not be that serious. It's just what's indicated here, but it's definitely indicated that they've been triggered into some sort of old pattern, and they're cycling in and out of it at this time. Okay, so whatever it is that's going on between you two, it's given, definitely given them a lot of food for thought. You know, they've really... Um, you know, they really felt that connection with you. They felt that deep friendship and that deep bond that you had. That was definitely recognized by them. But for some reason, um, they're rejecting it in some way because we have this Four of Cups energy, which is really just about them rejecting the friendship, rejecting the connection. It's only at this time that they're doing this, this time that you're asking the question, you know, if you've been confused, then this is what you're picking up on with them you know that they have that they're rejecting your offer they know that the offer's on the table they know that you're interested in them in that way they know that you are a good friend to them and that you have this good connection but they also know that you are um you know that there is a possibility for romantic connection there as well but you know with this four of cups energy look at this guy you know he's being offered this cup of love but he's not taking it, he's got his arms folded, he doesn't want to know about it. You know, and then he's, you know, shutting himself off from this connection and it's all because of these fears that have been triggered. You know, maybe it's because it looked like it might be, they might have to step up. You know, this might be something quite serious or maybe, you know, you do have this good con uh, connection and this good friendship and they're worried that they don't have the skills that they need to have a really real relationship with you because they know it's meaningful. They know that there's a lot on the line here in this connection with you. You know, they know that there's a lot on the line and they don't want to mess it up. Um, you know, I'm sensing that for some of them in this connection, they've got some baggage that they're feeling, you know, when we're talking about these patterns, they've got some baggage. I know that you're thinking, well, I can help them with this, I can rescue them from this, but this is really something that they're doing, you know, what's indicated here on their own. All these cards here, the Four of Swords, uh, the Four of Cups together, and, you know, then this Three of Cups in the reverse is indicating, you know, that they've pulled away from this connection. They recognize it. You don't need to worry about that. They recognize it. And they're not rejecting you. This is absolutely nothing to do with you this is to do with them and their own issues here you know their own fears and doubt their own self-worth their own 
uh, feelings of worthiness, of love. You know, perhaps your person does feel unworthy of love. Perhaps they feel unworthy of the sort of love that you are able to give them. But I know you want to help them, you know, if this is the case. I know you want to help them, but um, this is something that they're doing within them. But they are doing the work, you know, this is what's indicated here with the Four of Swords energy. You have given them food for thought, whatever it is that's been triggered on them, with this Eight of Swords in the upright and the reverse, you know, this is something, you know, they're, they're doing the work on this. They are getting spiritual downloads. You know? And eventually, it will bring them greater clarity. You know, this is what the Four of Swords is all about, it's about getting greater clarity through their own self-reflection, okay? But they're going to have to come to their own conclusions about that. You know, you can't um, just, you know, stick around and hope that you'll grow on them like you're a barnacle on the bottom of a boat <laughs> or something like this. They've got to realise it for themselves. They've got to realise, you know, and if this person isn't ready for a relationship or they don't feel worthy of love, you can't help them with that. And not only that, you know, you don't want someone, you want someone who can meet you halfway. You don't want someone who, who can only meet you 10% of the way and you have to meet them 90% of the way. Okay? So that's what I'm feeling. So I'm feeling that your person's going through some stuff. I feel that they've been triggered. I feel that they've got some fears about their own worthiness. Okay? And I'm feeling, you know, if they have pulled back a little bit, um, that you need to give them that space that they need to do that. Okay? So this uh, you know, this is what I'm sensing, and again, we have this Page of Pentacles. This is such a beautiful card, and I'm getting such lovely energy from it. This is fresh energy. This is new energy. You know, and this is, like, really about um, getting in touch with your soul. So, again, you know, this is, you know, with the Four of Swords and this together. You know, they're asking deeper questions. You know, maybe they're fed up of feeling this way in themselves. Your person is really fed up of feeling this way in themselves, and they're starting... Uh, to have this awakening, to ask these deeper questions, to just say, you know, who am I really? You know, where am I at in my life stage? What is it that I really want? Now, remember, you not, might not be aware of this. We have no idea what is really going on with people under the surface of things. They could look very successful. They could look happy. They could look like they're having the time of their life. Doesn't mean that is what they're experiencing on the inside. We've all heard... Uh, you know, stories of that, of when you see somebody who's quite happy, but you find out that, um, you know, they're feeling depressed or even suicidal. I'm not saying that's the case with that, but I'm just saying there's that, um, it's an example of how we can not know what's going on with people inside. Okay? So, definitely, you know, someone in this connection is starting to ask deeper questions about what it is that they want from a relationship, what it is that they want from love at this time. And, you know, really getting in touch with their spirit. And looking deeper, not, you know, staying on the surface of things and, you know, what is immediately visible to us, but looking deep down into who they really are. And this is what's been triggered in them. You know, they want to know, uh, you know, they're asking these bigger questions, these deeper questions. Who am I? What is it that I want? What is it that I want from a relationship? What is it that I have to offer a relationship? or someone in a relationship, okay? But here, you know, there's a lot of positivity here with this card, the universe, and this page of pentacles energy. So I see freshness coming in for you. I feel like with this universal energy, this is expansive energy. So this is what's happening um, emotionally. You know, this expansion is happening, which is paving the way for for love to come in, for a, a deeper meaningful connection to come in, okay? And I see your person sort of working through these issues very successfully at this time. So there's really expansive energy here. And you know, with this Page of Pentacles and this card relationship, I do see that this is gonna result in them, um, you know, coming to the truth, you know, coming to the realization that a relationship is possible, that a relationship would be a lovely thing, you know? 
I'm not saying that a relationship will occur as a result of this. This reading is just general and it's too, um, it isn't an, you know, a full enough reading for me to tell that. But what I'm saying is that as a result of what we've been talking about and their inner processes, they are going to come to the realization that this is a good offer that you're offering them with this Four of Cups. You know, you, you are um, a lovely... You know, that this could be a lovely thing for them, that this could enrich their life. So the thought processes, their emotions, their spirituality are all expanding at this time. And they will come to the conclusion that you are more than just a friend, that they want a relationship with you. Okay, whether or not they will um, take action on that, I don't know. But they are going to definitely come into that space where they recognize you as relationship material. You know, and they recognize the benefits of having a relationship with you and having you in their life as that significant person. Okay? So they are coming into this. This is expansive energy. They will recognize this as a relationship. They will want to have a relationship with you. And, you know, with this Page of Pentacles, this is um, new, fresh energy. You know, this is a lot about learning as well. You know, there's a lot about them facing their fears and then going within and then learning something about themselves and coming out in expansive energy. But remember, you, you know, it's important that you mirror um, these energies to them, okay? You know, so don't get caught up in any lower vibrational energies, you know, with this despair card, you know, maybe you're just like, you know, there's a lot here about it stalling with the four of swords and the four of cups. You know, I feel that maybe it's stalled, you know, maybe it was going in a really, a really good direction and they've ghosted you or they've pulled back or, you know, I'm sensing, you know, a lot of disappointment here, okay? And I'm sensing that it has stalled in some way. But um, I feel, you know, with this expansive energy coming in, they will be able to, you will be able to get over this hump, okay? And into something that feels much, much better. And, um, you know, and that is the potential for a relationship. So, you know, I see you being able to really get back to where you were with uh, the connection. So you're back into that deep, deep connection. And, you know, there's a lot here about this developing into something uh, new and, uh, you know, into the next phase of your connection with this person at this time. Okay. Um, there's a lot here with this page of pentacles about learning about spirituality as well. So, you know, perhaps um, somebody in this connection is really getting on board with meditation or guided meditations or they are, um, you know, developing their spirituality, you know, developing some sort of interest in spiritual matters, whereas before they've just sort of lived on the surface of things. They're really asking those deeper questions and, um, you know, uh, getting... Uh, you know, much more interested in learning about, uh, you know, why they're here, what their soul's journey is, and what it's all about, which I think is a really, really good thing, okay? So, yeah, you know, stay positive, it's all good, they are going to recognize this for what it is, they are going to recognize the amazing potential that you two have together, um, but there's nothing, you know, that you can do to rush their their own process okay so you know do invest in yourself do um you know carry on living your amazing life keep it high vibrational and all will work out for the highest good of everybody concerned okay in this connection all right yes yeah, so it's very complex there's a lot of complex energies going on in this reading at this time for you okay so but i hope that i've explained that and that it has given you some clarity in your situation Okay, thank you so much for spending time with me. It's been my honour to read your cards as always. Um, do connect with me down in the comments. I'd love to hear what is going on with you in your personal situation. Um, you are, you know, such a lovely bunch of people. You know, you just get, um, I love connecting with people all over the world. There's just like, it's so, I find it's just mind blowing. I find it so amazing that there are just people having very similar experiences of the heart in. Uh, you know, such spread out corners of the world, you know, we're all much more similar, you know, we're much more similar than we are different, you know. Um, yes, uh, if you feel called to, please check out my book, Love Academy. It's available through my website, linked in the description box. All the details of that are there. It will help you to manifest your soulmate. But if you have any questions about it, do ask me and I will do my best to answer them for you. Okay, now do take good care of yourselves. You're always in my thoughts 
and uh, yeah, have an amazing week. And I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care now. Goodbye. Hey everybody, this is the reading for everybody who picked group number two. So I'm going to take a look at these energies in these cards and see, uh, you know, whether or not your person can feel the connection, okay? And what messages we have from Spirit for you today. Okay, so we have this beautiful card, Blessings, from the Universal Love Oracle deck. We have Page of Swords. We have Seven of Pentacles. And Eight of Pentacles, so a sort of progression here. We have the Magician, we have the card Justice, we have this beautiful card Relationship from the Wild Offering Oracle deck, we have Ten of Cups, we have the Emperor, and we have this card Paradox. Okay, 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 so Aries energy is indicated here as a strong presence. Other Signs are indicated, but this is the strongest one. So you may be dealing with an Aries or somebody that's got a lot of Aries or possibly just a fire sign, okay? So um, this is what I'm looking at right now. Also, you know, this is a very powerful reading form because we have three major arcana cards represented here. So I'm sensing that this is very significant, um, you know, and that this is a significant connection. There's a lot of strong energies attached to this uh, connection, okay? So I feel that this is very uh, favored by the universe, all right? So, you know, with this Page of Swords energy, I definitely see that this, uh, your person that you're connecting with is checking you out on social media. They're probably a little, they're like a little spy, having a little look at you, seeing what's going on. They like connecting with you there and just having a little look at you online when you don't know about it. So I'm definitely sensing that. There's a lot here about right alignment that I'm seeing because we have the Magician, Seven of Pentacles and Justice. Now this is all about uh, divine timing, right timing, being at the right place at the right time. So it may be that you met this person in quite a serendipitous way. Um, it may be that um, things are just feel like they are you know, coming together quite nicely and you're just like, well, where is this going? What's happening? So you just need to know, you just need to trust in the universal timing of this connection because it's all coming, um, it's all gonna come together in right alignment. I feel like there's like a really beautiful natural unfolding that is happening. So I'm sensing with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, that there is this desire to want to rush things and to want to, uh, push forward and you know where is it going what's going to happen when am I going to get commitment you know you see all these questions that are bubbling up within you you know what are they thinking what are they feeling so you need to calm down <laughs> okay you need to take that back okay be patient is what this card is saying be patient in this process because they are, it is all working out okay there's a process that's going on and it's working out in your favor, okay? And it's all working out in the highest good of everyone concerned. And there's so much positivity in this reading, okay? That I see here, okay? Um, you know, there's a lot here about the law of attraction as well. I see, you know, uh, the magician is a classic law of attraction card. And then the emperor, people sometimes don't know this, is also, uh, you know, about the law of attraction. So I just feel like, you know, the work that you have been doing on yourself, whatever it is that you've been doing to invest in yourself, is paying off now, okay? Because you are starting to raise your vibration. We talk about it a lot on the channel, but now this is you seeing the results of your effort, seeing the results of you raising your vibration. So perhaps you've been doing guided meditations or meditations, perhaps you've been doing your affirmations, you know, perhaps you've been, um, you know, to see someone to help you cleanse your energetic body of your past cellular memories and experiences so that you can be fresh and new and attract new and wonderful things into your life. Okay, but this is, you know, uh, you know, really just speaks of the world being your mirror, and you being able to, that those good positive changes that you're making within your heart space, within yourself, within your energetic body, being reflected back at you into more positive experiences. So I do believe that you've met somebody here that we're talking about today, uh, you know, who is significant to you. Um, and that this is gonna be a significant relationship for you. They can definitely feel the connection. You know, this is what I'm seeing here. They're definitely um, 
feeling the connection, you know, they're, they're spying on you on social media, that you've caught their interest, they're definitely interested in you, there's a lot of magic in this connection, you know, a lot of that uh, magical energy that you can't really put your finger on, uh, they feel really good around you, and just like, uh, you know, with this Ten of Cups energy, and this relationship card that we have here, I see, um, you know, just so, you know, well, and then we have this blessings. I was going to say blessings, but we have this card blessings as well. So, you know, you are a blessing in their life. They absolutely love the connection with you. Um, you add a lot of richness to their life. Um, they think of you like family is what I'm seeing. You know, just like they feel so comfortable with you, so safe with you. They enjoy your company so much. They can relax in your company. Um, they just love being with you. Um, and this is really indicated here, which I think is really nice. Um, this Ten of Cups is really, you know, also about your own self-worth, you know, talking about manifesting, raising, you know, leveling up, uh, you know, uh, raising your vibration and your frequency uh, to match theirs, you know, and then the Ten of Cups is really about your own self-worth. So what I'm seeing here is this connection, this relationship, it's really about the work that you've done on yourself and now uh, positive things are being reflected back at you, okay? You're loving yourself more and this person's got plenty of love to give you, okay? So they definitely have strong feelings for you with this Ten of Cups energy. Um, they definitely... Um, Feel those loving, beautiful feelings towards you. You bring a lot of happiness to their life, okay? They see a lot of potential. There's so much here about potential that I see in this reading with the seven, you know, this, um, the seven and the eight of pentacles and this progression that we see and the Ten of Cups, this is just a progression towards greater happiness, a progression towards getting to know each other better. Remember, don't rush it, let it take its time, let things unfold naturally in divine timing. This is your message today with this person, but they are feeling it, they've got these strong feelings for you, they do see you as relationship material, they do see the potential of a relationship with you, there's so much positivity here for that, you know, when you, when you combine that with the Ten of Cups energy, there's just so much happiness here for the future. I see maybe, you know, your person is really uh, putting in the effort, you know, with their work. So this may just be detracting a little bit from them investing in you um, as much as you would like or you'd hope they're a little, I'm sensing they're a little bit distracted by their responsibilities and their work. But you know, they're working towards uh, building a good future, okay? But I also see them working towards coming towards you in a more solid way, which I think is really, um, really good for you, you know? Justice also speaks of you, you know, it's the kind of, as you sow, so shall you reap card. Wow, that was a tricky tongue twister. Um, as you sow, so shall you reap. So again, you know, we're talking about this manifestation energy. So whatever it is that you want to manifest here, put it on your manifestation board, uh, you know, journal about it, script it, write your reality into existence, okay? You can make this happen um, just by your own magnetism. Okay, but I, again, what I'm hearing is there's a magnetic attraction here. There's a magnetic pull between you both, which is going to pull you closer and closer together as time goes on. All right? Uh, but it's something that you're sort of working towards in your own time. So I don't think there's anything wrong with letting it develop and really getting to know this person and letting them get to know you. Okay, because it's going to be on this really beautiful, solid foundation with which to create this wonderful, loving relationship. You know, they do have these loving feelings for you, which I think is just so lovely. And, you know, it's, you know, I just, the thing that I'm sensing is you're working towards over time, maybe not now, but just like if I look into the future with this, I just see, you know, the, the future is indicated here, you know, with so many of these cards and with the justice card and this relationship, eventually this could lead to something more, um, significant for you with this person, you know, with the justice where maybe you move in together and you're sharing rent or perhaps maybe you even get married. Okay, so um, that is indicated here, you know, when we see the justice card and this relationship side by side. But, you know, there's so much happiness here. The Ten of Cups and these blessings are both about... Um, 
you know, blessings in your life, you know, you really make their life better for them. They appreciate you so much, okay? And that's, you know, if you're not feeling that, perhaps that's something that needs to develop, okay? We have this card, Paradox, and I just feel like, I just sense that the paradox here is just a little bit about, like, you know, when we want, you know, often we want this loving relationship so much, and we crave it, uh, but the paradox is when it comes, it can be a little bit frightening because um, we have to open our hearts to love, but the more we open our hearts, the more vulnerable we become to getting hurt. And that can um, indicate some fears that can come in. I didn't see a lot of fear in this reading, but I'm just sensing that that's just a little message from spirit for you today, you know, that I'm seeing here. So I just think... You know, also I'm sensing, you know, there's a lot here that I'm seeing about sort of maturity when I see these cards together. You know, this is a very mature energy when we have this. This person is absolutely capable of the sort of relationship that you want. Um, I think they've had a lot of life experiences. Maybe they're a little bit older than you. Maybe, um, you know, they're just an old soul or um, they've just had, you know, enough life experience or they're just ready within themselves to have the sort of relationship, a fulfilling relationship is what we're seeing here with the Ten of Cups energy. You know, a beautiful, fulfilling relationship and they have that maturity to be able to have, you know, to be able to love at that level, to be able to connect at that level, which I think is... Um, really good and I also see with this that they're going to be taking action towards you you know so if you haven't really uh, known what's been going on if they've been a little bit slow you've been asked to be a bit patient you've been asked to be taking your time um, about you know this person seems to be taking their time and you've just felt like you've been waiting a little bit they are getting closer towards you with these energies and you know this is really a card of action this person wants to give to you they want to give to you. This is what they're working towards, you know, giving you their best, create, you know, giving you a future, giving you a relationship, giving you love. They just want to give to you. So you need to be open to receive what it is that they have to offer, what it is that they want to give to you at this time. Okay? And, um, you know... I think that's wonderful. So I'm just seeing you know, opening your heart space. I think you've been working on that and that um, you're absolutely in the space to be able to be open uh, to what it is that they have to give you, which I think is really good. I think that, uh, I think the person might be quite disciplined. You know, this card, the Eight of Pentacles, and the emperor combined means that they might be quite disciplined. So it may be that they're very used to hiding their feelings. You know, maybe they don't talk about their feelings. Maybe they come from the sort of family where they're not very open and about talking about their feelings or they don't feel particularly comfortable about it, which is why you don't really understand what's going on or where, or why you don't know where you stand in this connection because they're not really um, uh, speaking about it. They're not really verbalizing, you know, what it is that they feel in their heart, what it is that they're thinking. They're not really talking it through. But I do see them taking action towards you, which I think is going to be really good. I feel that the energy is going to change, you know, and this uh, page of swords is a really, really positive sign for uh, a new start. It's a really positive sign for a new relationship, especially when we have it combined with this relationship card, which I think is amazing. So, you know, I see a fresh start here. I see them working towards coming towards you with something more serious. And, you know, you may just have to coax it out of them a little bit, you know, if they're a little bit shy coming forward um, in a way that is non-threatening to them, you know, which I think, again, is just about that openness that we were talking about and, you know, being prepared to be vulnerable when you are being offered something which is so significant but can offer you so much happiness and there's so much here about the long term you know with this seven to the eight of pentacles and the justice and this ten of cups there's just you know i just see you're taking a step towards something which is uh, significant and something which is long term okay so your person does feel this connection um they will take you to the next level is what I'm sensing here. They do have um, strong, strong, solid feelings for you, which they may not have expressed 
okay that's what I'm sensing in this but there's just so much here about um, right alignment and divine timing so just let it all unfold naturally just be your natural self and everything is going to be just fine okay but know that they do feel the connection they will consider a relationship with you and as time progresses you will move closer and closer towards uh, you know uh, that union and that happening for you okay that's definitely uh, what I see here okay but I really see that it's a, as a result you know this is often about spiritual law when we see justice so I really see it as a result of the work that you have been doing on yourself you know perhaps you've had to face your own fears or your own demons over the last few months or years you know or perhaps you've learned something from a painful relationship in your past and you are really leveling up now so if you've been feeling like you don't know what's going on or it's not really been working you've been trying your best and you've been working on yourself and you're ready to make changes just know the universe is bringing that in for you now with this connection okay you're going to really see changes you're going to see those changes that you've made in yourself being mirrored in your experience which i think is really lovely but there's just there's so much here just about happiness as well so you know i see a new relationship with this person and i see it just being a blessing in your life and there being sort of uh the potential for long-term happiness um as this unfolds so just keep getting to know this person, be open to them. They do feel that connection, perhaps they're a little bit slow or a little bit shy about coming forward, but they've definitely got potential and I definitely see good things here for you, okay? Um, so yeah, but I think it's gonna be significant, especially with these three major arcana cards that we've been talking about today. All right, okay, it's been like, you know, a good positive reading. I love uh, to bathe in these beautiful positive energies. Um, thank you so much for spending your time with me. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. I hope that reading has been beneficial for you and that it has helped you out in some way. Do connect with me down in the comments. I love to hear what is going on with you and your personal situations. And um, if you feel called to, then uh, please check out my new book which is called Love Academy is manifesting your soulmate there's lots more details about it on my website if you feel called to check that out but the choice is always yours um, yeah you're always in my thoughts do take good care of yourselves have an amazing week and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere take care now bye bye Hey everybody, this is a reading for everybody who picked group number three, so I'm going to take a look at the energies and see if your person can feel the connection at this time. So we have the beautiful card, the Magician, for you here. We have Page of Cups in the reverse. We have the card Heaven on Earth from the beautiful Universal Love Oracle deck. We have the card Work. We have Knight of Pentacles. We have Temperance in the reverse. We have Eight of Wands in the reverse. We have the Moon card. We have Six of Cups. And we have the card Get Wild. Okay, so I definitely see that this is, you know, this card Get Wild is really about being authentic, you know, as is uh, the Magician card as well. So I just really feel like... Um, this is a very authentic connection. I think, you know, this is why you feel the connection so deeply. You can really feel like you can be yourself with this person. They feel like they can be themselves with you. Um, you know, this comes from a very soul-centered place when we see these authentic connections that we're talking about today, okay? It's not, um, not everybody that we meet in life where we really feel that we can connect on that level and really be, um, you know, our true selves with somebody. You know, it's such a lovely blessing, such a lovely gift. And your person that you're um, asking about today really does feel that when we see this heaven on earth card you know they uh, you know they sense the blessing in your connection okay um, they enjoy your company they feel good around you um, you know they do sense that there is a little bit of magic in your connection with this, this magician card okay um, I do also sense, you know, that this is a soulmate connection when we see the Six of Cups here like this. So I do feel that, um, you know, you have agreed prior 
to this lifetime to meet each other in this lifetime to teach each other certain spiritual lessons or you know to just help each other with your spiritual awakening towards uh, enlightenment really okay and remember you know a soulmate doesn't have to be in your life for a lifetime it's not just one soulmate that we have um, you know a soulmate can touch our lives very briefly and uh, you know make a huge impact on us so I definitely sense that this person that you're asking about today is in your life for a reason and that they are here to um, you know really help you with your spiritual expansion and that they've got a message for you you know you're going to be able to learn something as a result of this friendship okay so they do really appreciate your friendship it may also be indicated that um uh, you know that you've known this person from the past and they've sort of cycled back into your life or well, there may be somebody that you've met through your family okay so that's indicated here Piscean en energy is really represented here as well um, so you may be dealing with somebody who's a Pisces or has that energy in their chart but don't worry too much about that okay there's definitely more to this connection that meets the eye when we have this moon card here. I do feel that this connection with your person has really triggered some unconscious fears that they have. The magician really indicates a lot of confidence. So I'm sensing that in some areas they're very, very confident and they seem very confident when you meet them, but I'm just feeling like under the surface, um, you know, they do have, you know, these uh, fears. You know, maybe that they've been triggered into experiencing these fears or um, just, you know, that it's something that they live with, you know, that they have this anxiety of, you know, about their own worth beneath the surface, you know, and that this um, confidence is really just, um, you know, a surface level thing. But, you know, the truth of it is that, you know, they do have these fears, they do have these self-doubts. I do sense also that this person does dream about you when we see this moon card. This energy is indicating to me that they do dream about you. You know, you do pop up in their dreams and their daydreams as well. So they do sense the connection on that level, okay? They, you know, they appreciate, they're grateful for your connection, they're grateful for your friendship, they're grateful for what it is that you bring to their life, but they may not see the depth of this connection in the way that you are feeling it. Okay, you haven't imagined it, you know, I didn't know that you can sense the depth of this connection and you haven't imagined it. Um, so it's just maybe that they're not picking up on it. I'm sensing that they are not on the same energetic frequency as you are, okay? So that may be why you're a bit confused as to what is going on with them, all right? Um, with this Magician card, this is the card of manifestation, so I do feel like... Um, just uh, be careful what you wish for, you know, is this truly what you want? Just ask yourself that, Spirit is really highlighting that for you um, because you're, you know, you're quite powerfully magnetic at this time. So if this is something that you want with this person, you can draw them in with your own energy, okay? But at the moment, I'm just sensing that you're on uh, slightly different pages, okay? There is definitely more to this situation than meets the eye. I think that's gonna come to the fore in the next few weeks so that you get more clarity from some of these more shadowy, confusing elements as to what's going on with your person, okay? I sense that what, the, you know, so part of what they're hiding is their own fears. They may also, when we have this temperance in the reverse, be hiding some sort of addiction. Maybe they're addicted to drinking or just, you know, maybe it's something that's an open addiction like smoking, but, um, you know, it's causing them a lot of unhappiness. Okay, it may also be when I see these two cards together that there is an obsession indicated here. Maybe somebody in this connection um, that this, uh, these feelings have become out of balance and, you know, somebody has become sort of uh, unconnected um, in an unhealthy way and, you know, maybe it's become more of an obsession or, you know, maybe they're just um, really, you know, concerned with, caught up with the illusion of things, you know, how they want things to be, how they imagine things to be, uh, but not necessarily excuse me, necessarily the uh, reality of what's going on, okay? So it may be that. It's also just indicated really that their life is just a little bit out of balance. We have this work card and we have the Knight of Pentacles 
and I'm sensing that your person is really, really focused on their career at this time. They're really um, focused on you know, creating a stable future. Maybe they're trying to build their own business. Maybe they're taking up with a side hustle. Uh, maybe they're working up the career ladder. Uh, but I sense that their career is very important to them and that there's a lot going on in their work life at the moment. Okay, this is taking up a lot of their mental space, a lot of their energy and a lot of their time. So if it was the case that um, they were in your life a little bit more and it feels like they've pulled back. I just feel like they're really weighed down by their responsibilities in their life and that you are not so much at the forefront of their mind because they're really, um, you know, maybe it's that they're being very responsible and really sort of taking care of business and what it is that needs doing. I do sense that there's been a change in the communication between you and your person when I see this eight of wands in the reverse. I do feel that they were very much in your life, maybe blowing up your phone. There was a lot of communication and a lot of good communication. And now I just feel like they've pulled away a little bit. When I see this page of wands in the reverse and the, um, excuse me, the eight of wands in the reverse and the page of cups in the reverse here as well. So I do feel like you thought there was potential here. You thought that they were giving you this, um, that they were offering you something, that they were offering you a relationship or love or something, you know, that this was going to develop from a friendship into something more. And you just feel like a little bit cheated by that, like they've pulled back from it, okay? Um, you know, again, I'm sensing that this is out of balance. There's something in this connection that's out of balance. Maybe it's just that they're so focused on their responsibilities or maybe somebody is so heavily invested in this connection. Um, and then somebody isn't quite so invested, you know, they're more, you know, they're concentrating on other responsibilities and other things at this time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just feel like there's been this kind of breakdown in communication or they're not communicating like they used to. They're not, you're not connecting like you used to. And that's causing like a lot of disappointment for you. Okay. Um, and I do feel like, you know, there was this, you know, you felt like this offer of love was there and now it's been taken away from you. And they're not offering you uh, that deeper connection, that deeper love, that romance that you thought was on the table. Okay. And again, you weren't imagining it. It was there, but there's something in their fears which has made them pull back at this time. Okay. It may just be that they've got too much on their plate and their time is taken up with their responsibilities or it may be that they've had their fears triggered. But they've definitely, you know, with these two cards together, they've pulled back. They have uh, retreated from this. Okay, and you need to know that it's nothing that you have done. You know, this is a soulmate connection. This is highly indicated here. Uh, you know, I do sense that very, very strongly. And what I'm sensing is that they are not your part. You know, we were talking about your person, like maybe not being on the same energetic frequency as you. And I feel like, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles energy, they're really more focused on the 3D world right now and on practicalities. And they're not so much looking at things from a spiritual perspective. And I sense that you are. I sense that you are. You connect with the world much more in that way. And you're able to connect with this relationship in a much more soul-centered way. Okay? Um, so I'm sensing that their main focus is on the 3D world and achieving their goals and getting stuff done right now. And this is why they can't, they're not able to reach down into themselves to connect to that soul-centered space in the same way that you are you know and this is also indicated with the temperance in the reverse the temperance is a very beautiful uh card of soul energy and because it's in the reverse you know that really speaks to me about the ego so they're coming much more from like an ego-based place you know and the ego isn't a bad thing we all have an ego um but it just means that they're not so in touch with their sort of spirituality and the spiritual nature of this connection which is available to them but they're not sort of connecting with it at this time because they're just coming from this more surface level ego based place you know and the thing with the ego is that it can be triggered very easily into these fears that we've been talking about today okay so at this time you know i do sense that your person 
uh, appreciates your friendship, appreciates your energy in their life. I do feel that they're preoccupied with other things and other responsibilities right now. Um, because it's a soulmate connection, I do see that there is potential there, you know, and there is such a lovely connection between you both and it's so authentic. But I just feel like they've pulled back due to their fears at this time, okay? Now, remember this is just the energy in this moment. So you can just continue to, um, you know, experience what it is that they have to offer. Don't give in to your own fears as well is what I'm hearing. You know the truth of it. You know that it's a soul connection. You know, enjoy what it is that they have to offer. Um, you know, be open to what it is that they, uh, the lessons that they can teach you because they are your teacher and that's why they've come into your life at this time. You know, be open to that and then that is going to pave the way for the best outcome for you and so that you can come into the highest and you know your highest and greatest good okay but i do really feel these disappointments that you've had you know that it was going in one direction and now they've sort of they're backpedaling and they've pulled back from it and maybe you know what i'm hearing is they're stalling as well there's some sort of stalling energy here all right i'm not sure whether they're going to offer you um, a relationship at this time but spirit is really saying you know stay in the truth of this connection don't give in to your own fears like we've been talking about the truth of this connection is that it's a soul-centered connection um, you know and really just um, you know just look for the beauty in this connection and take you know from it uh, the spiritual lessons that you can take from it and then just take it from there and see what happens in the future. Remember, this is, we're just taking a snapshot of the energy as it is in this moment. And in this moment, your person is preoccupied and they've got these ego-based fears which are stopping them to from connecting with you, okay? But you've got all this magician energy here, so there's a lot of spark, the spark of attraction, you know, and the possibility for transformation and magic here. So I do see this situation transforming for you. Okay, so just stay in your own high vibrational energy and just let them come up um, to meet you in that space, that positive energy space. This is such positive energy here that you have. You know, you bring so much positivity to the world because you're such a positive person and you bring a lot of positivity to their life, okay? So just, you know, let them work through their fears. Let these things unfold. Um, in the fullness of time and just see what happens. But, you know, do be living your own life, uh, be doing your own thing at this time. You know, if they do come towards you, it's going to be um, very slowly. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest mover in the tarot. So they're working through this, their fears, um, quite slowly. I do feel that they're going to come to this realization when I see the soulmate card, you know, the Six of Cups and the Magician together. They are going to come to the realization of what it is um, that you have between you both, but they're gonna be slow in doing that, okay? Um, so I think pe more patience is required. I think maybe that's why you've got the temperance in the reverse as well. You know, you're being asked to be more patient with your person at this time while they have these realizations, while they um, understand the situation in the same way that you do, okay? But I'm feeling like you wanna rush you know, uh, but, um, and that you, you're not being patient. So, you know, please don't rush, don't rush into them with all your energy because um, uh, that may just feel like pressure to them and they may pull back further, okay? But you're not imagining it, there is a connection here, all right? Um, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. It's been my honor to read your cards as always. Um, do connect with me down in the comments. I love to hear what is going on with you in your lives, in your situation, okay? Um, if you feel called to, please check out my book, Love Academy. It's all got great tips for dating and uh, romance and just for helping you to attract your soulmate into your life. But there's much more about that on my website. So if you feel called to find out a little bit more about it, then it is linked in the description box below this video, okay? But you're always in my thoughts. Have an amazing week and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. You take care now. Goodbye.